Drip is finally here in Wealthsimple and in this video, I will show you how you can exactly reinvest your dividend using Wealthsimple. Drip is one of those features that has been requested by thousands of users over the years and Wealthsimple has finally delivered it to us. However, it's not all rainbows and sunshine. There's one case that I really want to talk about. In this video, we will talk all there is to know about Drip using Wealthsimple. So let's get to it. If you have been investing in Canada, chances are you are using either Wealthsimple or Questrade to buy US and Canadian stocks. Even when I already had Wealthsimple account, I created a Questrade account because I really wanted to make use of the Drip feature. Fast forward today, you can do all of that in Wealthsimple. It is fairly easy to set up Drip in Wealthsimple. Just follow the steps in this video and you will be ready to reinvest your dividend in no time. First, log into your Wealthsimple account. Then, open up any account where you hold all your stocks. In my case, all my TFSA investment is in the TFSA account, so I will tap on TFSA. Then, click on the gear icon on the top right corner of your phone screen. Now, under Automation section, you will see an option of Dividend Reinvestment. Click on that. Within this new page, you can use the toggle button to turn on or turn off the Dividend Reinvestment feature. And you are done. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the Drift feature turn on on my Wealthsimple account. However, for my wife's Wealthsimple account, I'm pretty sure that I'll leave it turned on for a long time. My wife is not really into investing and whenever companies give out dividends, she does not bother to manually reinvest the dividends. So for someone like her, this is a great feature to have. I did mention in the beginning of the video that it's not all rainbows and sunshine and there's a catch, remember? Well, let's talk about that now. With Wealthsimple Drip, you cannot cherry pick stocks for which you want to turn on this feature for. For example, if you want to dividend reinvest on Taylor stock but don't want to do it for TD Bank, you can't do that. It's either all or it's nothing. Definitely not an ideal situation. That's all for this video. Have you used the drip feature in your Wealthsimple account before? Or now that you know about it, are you planning to use it moving forward? Let us know in the comment section down below. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.